Welcome to Just the Tips, I'm the Fugly and Lonely T4. Today, we're talking about getting early game water. As you can see, I've got just a little bit stockpiled. Let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna do is make sure you have your favorite smashing tool. Then you're gonna run around and grab a couple of wells. I start with long keep. If we run over to the well, we get about five to 10. It now has a cooldown. It used to be that you could just spam the wells. After we get long keep, we're gonna move on over to Rookmore. Now you can either run over to Rookmore, beat the piss out of everybody, and you'll actually get more water that way because some of the mobs here will actually drop water for you. But I just run to the well, grab the water there, defend myself if necessary. and then get back to collecting water. After we do Rookmore, we're gonna pop over to Homestead, which is located here on the map. I have a home close by, so I'm just gonna fast travel. Get that wolf before he's a problem. Again, Run over to the well, grab the 5 or 10 it's willing to give me at the time. And then this next step is why you need your favorite smashing tool. Because I actually like to run the spires. I'm going to start with the first spire you're introduced to in the game in the Springlands. And I find this is actually where you get the most water from outside of the wells so once we fast travel here we're just going to take a little swan dive and then just run the tower now once we're up inside the tower we're going to do our best link impression and we're going to smash all the pots and anything else that looks like fun to smash the shelves and the benches and things like that don't really drop anything other than stone, so I wouldn't worry too much about those. Now, as we can see, after just the three wells and the one spire, we've collected 41 water. As well as some other things from the tower, which is always great, but... 41 water just from those four locations now i'm also going to run the low metals tower and i am going to run the revelwood tower and i'll be right back in a moment to show you what i get from after running both of those towers as well So as we can see with both those towers done, I get an extra 21 water. Now, just to make sure I've collected all the water possible, I'm gonna hit the three wells again, and I get a total of 75 water. And that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. It lets me know you're liking the content. It helps me get motivated to do more tips videos. And if you hit subscribe, my next video is going to be on taking down the wyvern at the pike. I'm T4. I'll see you later.